In a bid to counter Western sanctions, China has enacted its first foreign relations law. Beijing claims that this law will act as a deterrent to sanctions and safeguard its national sovereignty and security. The law has been enacted at a time when it is locked in a tussle over sanctions imposed by the US. The new law is slated to come into effect from the 1st of July. It was passed by the Standing Committee of China's Parliament on Wednesday. Now, it gives the country the power to make restrictive and countermeasures against those individuals and organizations which it deems as inimical to its interests in the sphere of international exchanges. It with uh, severe countermeasures from China. It also calls for promoting several signature foreign policy initiatives of President Xi Jinping on global security, development and civilization. Now, defending the new law, China's top diplomat Wang Yi, who is also the director of Foreign Affairs Commission, said that it will be used as a tool to fight against the acts of containment and outside interference. Wang Yi believes that Beijing needs to expand its legal toolbox in order to mollify its foreign struggles. The foreign relations law also mandates Beijing to bolster cross-border law enforcement and international judicial cooperation. This clause has reignited fears of its alleged illegal law enforcement activities which in particular relate to its overseas police stations. Western nations say that China uses these stations for meddling in foreign politics and harass hostile individuals. But as per this law, legal cooperation is needed for combating transnational crimes and corruption. Apart from this, it gives China the power to permit or deny any foreign national or organization to reside in its territory. China already has laws in this regard, but with the new legislation, it can pass orders which correspond to measures impacting its own nationals and entities abroad. It also puts foreign entities in its territory under obligation to not disrupt social or public order. In the last few years, sanctions have become the bone of contention between U.S. and China. The topic also figured during the talks when U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken visited Beijing earlier this month. Washington has blacklisted more than 1,300 Chinese entities for multiple reasons, reasons ranging from supporting Russia to contributing to fentanyl crisis. Now, it is Beijing which is preparing to step up with this law.